I may have found the cheapest Thunderbolt dock on eBay. We're going to test it out, see what it can do. We'll go over all the features on it and try to use it on an older system, which is the real intention of this, is I want to try to run on this because it will add USB 3 support and it would be nice, but we've got to test it and make sure it doesn't blow a hole through something first. So this should be interesting. Let's go. Anyway, I'm Greg Rutkin of Rutkin Mods. Welcome to today's episode where we will be talking about this Thunderbolt dock here. And let's do some backstory here. When I got this thing in, I think it was 2018, I wanted USB 3 in it. Of course, you can't really do that without buying a really expensive dock uh, for Mac, which was a problem because, well, um, they cost like three or four hundred bucks. And at the time, I didn't have that kind of money. And currently, I don't anymore either. But still, I was actually on eBay two or three months ago, and I stumbled across this for like 10 bucks. And uh, I'm like, let's try it and see what happens. And I thought, hey, it'd be a great dock to replace the dock that uh, broke for my M1 MacBook, uh, which was uh, made by OWC, I think. Well... This is a Thunderbolt 3 dock, as we can see here. The thing is, I started thinking about it because this only supplies 60 watts of power to charge the MacBook, which it will still do, even though my M1 Max kind of needs more. It charges it really slowly, and it still works. Well, I decided, you know what? This would be better for this. The problem is, <laughs> no one makes a... Thunderbolt 3 to 2 slash 1 adapter, period. And this cable actually is removable, but they don't make a 2 slash 1 adapter for it. So I thought about it, and I thought, well, you can definitely go backwards, okay? You can take a USB, I mean a Thunderbolt 3 device and plug it into a 1-2, as long as it's got a female port and not a male port. That has a male port. This is for a female port. Now Thunderbolt's supposed to be reversible. So that's why we have this MacBook here because there's a possibility that when I plug this in, it's going to send 60 watts of power through this port which can't take power. And if that's the case, it's going to blow a hole through this MacBook. That's why I want to test it on this MacBook that GT gave me before I test it on my iMac, because that would be bad. Now, how am I going to do that, you may ask. I found this female-to-female -female adapter, uh, which is supposedly for Thunderbolt. It even says 240 watts, 40 gig, uh, GPPS on it, okay? This will turn this female plug into a male plug and then we should in theory be able to plug this into it and in theory it will work or blow a hole through it one of the two i'm hoping that it will work and if it doesn't work well we'll just go over how the dock works and how it's good for a thunderbolt 3 and later system but if it does work this will be the ultimate solution for the one slash two systems because this will add a bunch of extra ports that you wouldn't have otherwise, which would be awesome. So, there's one more thing I'd like to cover. Now, you can't just get a female-to-female -female adapter and expect it to work. This is supposedly for Thunderbolt, and um, it didn't really say it was. Uh, but the rating on it, it says 240 watts, 40 GPPS on it. It should be Thunderbolt but there's no guarantee. And that's the problem. USB 3 based um, USB-C is totally different from Thunderbolt based USB-C. Thunderbolt based USB-C has extra pins in it. It has a 
chip in it that makes it communicate with the system. And you can't just use a USB 3 um, C adapter on these. They'll plug in together, but they won't work. So if this has got the extra pins in it, it should work. If it doesn't, it won't work. Or it might just blow a hole or something. Either way, this will be interesting. So anyway, we're going to plug this Thunderbolt 3 into this 1 slash 2. This is actually 1. And we're going to see if it works. And uh, we're going to do it on camera right now. And if you see a giant spark shoot out the side of it and the computer die, don't know what happened. I'm hoping that's not going to happen. So uh, let's do it. This came in a multiple pack too. So I've got a lot of them. If I blow a hole through this, oh well. So um, this one's actually damaged. Shipping wasn't kind though. Of. Let's try this one. Put those to the side. I'm already nervous. So this is the little adapter. We'll plug this into the system. This is the one slash two cable. I don't know if the Thunderbolt port works. Feels like there's something jammed in it. There we go. Maybe. We'll find out. So, I'm already nervous doing this. We'll plug this into this. Then we'll plug this into this and see what happens. Okay, they're linked together. I don't know if it's done anything. The system's still on. So that's a good sign. So I'm going to play around with it and see what happens. All right, so welcome to my patented shaky cam here. We've got the adapter plugged in here, and this is what it looks like right there. Now this doesn't light up. I don't know why. It never does. So I have no clue if this actually works until we go into the device manager and find out. I hope this works. All right, let's go to Thunderbolt. No device connected. That is not a good sign. Huh. Well, maybe the port's just messed up. I'll be right back. Well, darn. I uh, flipped the adapter around, and it actually lights up now. It gets power from the dock. But uh, it doesn't from the system. As we can see here, it's unplugged. It's uh, still getting power from the dock. So in theory, this should still work in a US, I mean a Thunderbolt 3 system or later. Uh, but uh, doesn't seem to work on anything else because I even restarted this system and nothing. So it's, that's disappointing. I even tried it on the iMac, and it was the same result. Uh, and I was brave to do that because, you know, you never know when this will, you know, blow something. But, you know, Thunderbolt 1 and 2 has less pins in it, so there's no power pin in theory. So it, if anything, it will just blow a hole through this adapter before it would do anything. So that's why I was willing to try this. And now I can actually finish building this thing for my friend, and he can have a new system. Um, I just wanted to make sure I didn't blow a hole through that first. So, yeah. Anywho. So um, I'm going to go get my M1 Max. We're going to go over the details on this dock. And uh, it's apparently strictly a Thunderbolt 3 and later system um, dock. So, yeah. Oh, well. All right, so here's my M1 Max. We've got a cable here, and we've got the adapter. I want to see if the adapter actually works as a Thunderbolt adapter, because if it doesn't, that's maybe why this doesn't work. Plug it in. Oh. 
That might be the problem. It's not charging, but the adapter is also not glowing anymore. So like a dummy, I just realized I don't have any US Thunderbolt 3 cables. This is a USB-C cable. So this wouldn't work either way. So I have no clue if this adapter works. So we're just going to go with it doesn't work or it does work and I'm just stupid. So um, yeah, I can't test to see if the adapter works. So we're just going to uh, plug it directly in the system. We'll show you what it does. All right, so there's the dock. Here's the Thunderbolt plug-in right here. We're plugged in. It's charging, as we can see here. It is plugged in and working. So if we go over to system information, we go down to Thunderbolt 4, it will say unsupported. But everything that works on this dock works. We've got an audio jack, which is an audio. Um, that's what this Realtek USB is. We've got Thunder, I mean, uh, USB 3. This is the uh, hub here for that. We've got gigabit um, LAN, which is also in this dock. So if we go over to like Ethernet, Ethernet, there it is. That works. We've got uh, Display Port. It's got VGA. I haven't tested it. I don't know if that works. We're going to test that in a second. But everything that is on this, let's see if I've forgotten anything else. Uh, everything that is on this should work. So let's go over the details on the dock and then we'll uh, we'll test it a little bit more. So before we go over the dock, I wanted to let you know that I just ordered an actual Thunderbolt 3 cable uh, to try this out and see if these adapters actually work. We'll do a short uh, after this when those adapters come in just to see if it works. Um, and then you'll know if it works and if that was the problem all along or not. So... Yeah. So anyway, guys, say hello to the Dell. Uh, what is it? <laughs> uh, the Dell something, 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 something. Where is the part number? Here, part number. I know I'm an idiot. I can't find it. Here it is. The model K16A Dell Thunderbolt dock. Um, also, maybe TB16. It's... I believe it's the K16A. Now this dock actually has multiple different power adapters you can get for it. So in theory, if you get a more powerful power adapter, this will charge faster. Uh, it will give more power than 60 watts. Uh, but with this power brick, which is a 130 watt, uh, the most it will charge the MacBook is at 60 watts. So if you get a bigger power brick, I think they go up to maybe a 240 watt or something like that. This might actually supply more power. But this is the dock right here, as we can see here. In the front, we have two USB 3s. One of them's a charge port. We also have a headphone jack for the built-in USB audio. On the back... We have two USB 2 ports, one USB 3 port, a Thunderbolt port, uh, that's Thunderbolt 3. There's the power jack, there's an audio out port, and then we have VGA, HDMI, mini display port, display port, and the gigabit ethernet port. So this gives you a lot of different options to plug into any of your MacBooks that have Thunderbolt 3 or later. Really cool. So I really want to try. I know that the Ethernet works. I know that the USB ports work. I know the Thunderbolt port works. I want to try the Display ports because that's the only thing I haven't tried. And the one that I want to try the most is VGA because plugging VGA into a MacBook today is kind of strange. And it may and may not work. So we're going to find out and see if it does. So anyway... Why wouldn't you want to plug a 21-year-old gateway monitor into a MacBook, right? Cable's plugged in. We'll turn the MacBook back on. And we're going to plug it in and see what happens.
So far, nothing. And this display adapter may not work on this. I want to test it out and see if there's a reason why it's not working. All right, so we have the Crazy Ken LG Ultra Wide plugged straight into the HDMI port on the system. I want to see if the port works on this. So, one sec. So I've come to the conclusion that everything works in the dock except for the display ports, which I guess isn't a whole huge loss. But uh, it's very, quite annoying. Try it one more time. Because it should just kick right on. And it doesn't. So, yeah. Well, well, so we figured out everything that doesn't work on it. Let's uh, wrap up the video and uh, we will, uh, yeah. <laughs> So I did some research on this, guys, and the reason why the display ports probably do not work is because it uses Intel integrated graphics, apparently. And in theory, that means that they may actually work on an Intel Mac, but they don't work on M-series Macs because, well, they don't support external GPUs. So if I had a device that had US, I mean, uh, Thunderbolt 3, it would possibly work um intel wise i don't currently so can't test that theory but uh that would be why the displays do not work so in conclusion guys is the dell k16a thunderbolt dock a good deal for your mac i would say yes especially for ten dollars i got this dock for ten dollars but i actually got two of them how do i do that um, well, the seller sent me one of these with a bad power supply. I sent him a message saying the power supply was broken, so he sent me another dock and another power supply. And I went on eBay and bought another power supply for 12 bucks. So in total, I've got two docks for $22, if, if math is correct there. Yeah, $22. It's a great deal. And these average about 25 bucks on eBay. So either way, it's a good deal because it's a Thunderbolt 3 dock that allows you to expand all your ports except for display out, apparently. But, you know, you've got two USB 2s, gigabit Ethernet, uh, USB 3. You've got another Thunderbolt port. So if you have a, um, you know, a adapter for display out you can still use this for display out and just plug it into the Thunderbolt port so either way it still would work it's just uh, a little more inconvenient because you've got to have another adapter if you want display out but you could still use this as your main hub for everything including your monitor with that adapter and then of course you've got two more USB 3's in the front plus a headphone jack and an audio out port which is all built in and works fine in this. And it will still charge your MacBook even though the lower end, less powerful ones charge at 60 watts, which especially for an M1 Max isn't really enough, but it will still charge this. Uh, it just may not do it while you're at max power on this. So you have to keep that in mind. Uh, and in that case, you may want to plug it into something else when you're doing something labor intensive. But still, it will charge your MacBook, and this is a great deal. Um, I would not say, um, there's no reason why you shouldn't buy one. They're really cheap, they're really worth it, and other than the lack of the display ports working, which would work in Windows, I'm sure, and you could use these ports in Windows on an Intel Mac with no problem, I'm sure. They'll probably work fine. But, yeah, other than that, all the ports work on it, and it's a great expansion hub for you, for your docks and everything. Uh, it, I feel like it should have some more USB, um, uh, USB Cs on it, but one Thunderbolt, you can split it out into more, whatever you want, um, and it would still work. You can still plug in a USB C into this Thunderbolt plug here, and it would work. And I really wish it would work with these, but then again, that adapter may not work. And if that's the case, I'll have to find another adapter. 
But we'll find out in a short, which I'll uh, put the link to in the description when that comes in, when we test to see if it actually does indeed work with the adapter or not. So that should be interesting. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And um, don't forget, do have a Patreon and also memberships if you'd like to join either with that join button down there or with the link at the end of the video or in the description for Patreon. I'd greatly appreciate it. It helps me out. And uh, you get to see these videos a day early, sometimes earlier. Uh, sometimes I do mass produced videos where I put out multiple ones. You can see all those long before anyone else can. Plus Patreon helped me a lot and uh, it helps me uh, be able to afford this stuff because I'm about broke now. Anyway, but no sob story here. Anyway, that's the end of today's video. Please stick around. I have a bonus part of the video where we say Happy New Year and all that stuff and explain a few things. And I may also have some bloopers. There's been a lot in this video. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. And this has been a Rocky Mods video. Hey. Happy New Year, everyone. If you're wondering why I'm wearing all this, I just literally got back from my New Year's Day ride. And a little cold. It's 30 degrees outside. So if you notice anything weird in this video, like me wearing leather pants, that's why. Because I'm not about to take them off right now. Got back from the ride, and uh, I just decided it's time to start filming now. So I get this over with, because I need to do it. So, um, yeah. Happy New Year, everyone. I'm going to get ready for the uh, filming. And of course, this is at the end of the video. Um, but yeah, if you're wondering why I was wearing leather pants in the beginning, that's why. It's not because I like doing it, it's because it's cold outside and I'm surprised I still have any nuts left on my body. It's cold. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, let's get uh, all set up and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video because uh, I'm sure I had fun doing it, and I don't know how the end result will be yet, so that should be interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching. Or it might just blow a hole or something. Either way, this will be interesting. And there's one other thing that I can't remember what I was about to say about it. Jump cut on that. What was I about to say on it? Okay, so here's my M1 Max. Let's see if this adapter actually works before we do anything else. Unplug it. How in the f*** is it still f***ing giving me notifications? Okay, so here's my M1 Max. Let's see if this adapter actually works as a thunderbolt. What the hell was that? Damn it! Stop hanging! Okay. Calm, cool, collected. Here's my M1 Max. Alright, so here's my M1 Max. We've got the wire...